Hey everyone, it's Michelle here. Today I have a really fun video for you. I'll be showing you how to make uh, bows out of your washi tape collection. So here's a quick look at my collection and one of the bows that I've made um, before that I'll be showing you how to recreate. So you'll see I have a lot of different um, kinds of washi here and I'm just going to pull out some that I think would be really good for this technique. So I think basics like florals, um, polka dots, and stripes are really good. So I'm just pulling out a bunch of them here that I think I might want to use. Um, I like to stick to things that are kind of like a very simple pattern. If you have an image like this bird one here, it gets a little hard to recognize the pattern when you're turning it into a bow shape. So really the simpler it is the better. Like for this one I have these arrows which might not be the best because once you um, roll it up the arrows might be split up. Or like this one which is a really cool roll um, but it probably wouldn't be good for this technique. So here you'll see I'm just pulling out lots of different colors and you can even use different widths. So you'll see I have a wide one, that gray one, but um, I'm also going to create some uh, skinnier bows which I think end up looking really cute. Um, because they're a little shorter um, and they're just smaller in general so I think it's really nice to just have that variation. So I'm just pulling out a couple of them that I'll be um, walking you through right now. So I pulled out a piece of scrap cardstock. Normally for a lot of my crafting I use 110 pound really thick white cardstock but this is much thinner. Um, I think this one is 80 pounds. So you want something that is a little sturdier than typing paper but still is not very thick because you're going to um, have to bend this and you don't want to crease it you just want it to bend slightly so I just put down a strip right up against the edge and cut it out with my exacto knife I find it's easier to be precise with a ruler and um, a blade but if you prefer using a paper trimmer you can go ahead and do that and once that's cut out you'll see I'm bending this with my fingers just to make the paper more pliable you can also do this with a bone folder, just running the bone folder um, along the back like I did with my fingers. So now I'm going to create the general shape. Um, I measured how wide the inside part of the bow was and it's about like right under 2 inches. Um, but most of the time I really just eyeball it. But that's just for your own reference if you want to be more exact about it. So I'm rolling it up so that the ends meet in the middle. And this is because I'm going to staple it together right there. And I'm using a tiny attacher for this because these are smaller staples that are really flat on the back. So they're really great for just limiting how much bulk you're creating with this. And it kind of flattens one side out as you staple it, but it's okay. I'll just um, round it out again and we'll be sticking some foam squares under there later so it'll keep it propped up. So I have this little scrap here of the leftover washi tape on the cardstock so I'm going to cut that in half and this is going to be a little piece that we wrap around the center to cover up the staple. So I'm just wrapping that around there and folding the pieces so that when we add glue to this it's easy and it already has that form. So I'm going to take out my multi-medium liquid adhesive and I'm taking a little scrap of paper and just smearing some of that onto the back and folding both of um, these flaps down. I'm using this because um, it works really well with the little bit of bulk that the staple adds because it gets in all of the little nooks and crannies um, and it's also really strong once you just like hold it in place for a few seconds it'll dry and really um, hold the bow in place well. So you'll see it's really cute um, just like that if you don't want to add the ends but I kind of like adding the little pennant shapes on the end so I'm going to take the washi tape and make another strip so again I'm just placing that onto my cardstock along the edge and this one doesn't have to be so long so I'm not filling up the whole length of the paper but again I am placing that down and then using my metal ruler and exacto blade to cut that into um, a perfect strip and you want to make sure to use white cardstock for this because a lot of washi tapes are translucent so you want to um, be sure to have a neutral color behind that. But if you want to experiment with colored cardstock you can go ahead and do that also. 
So I'm just snipping off the edges um, straight for now, um, about the general length that I want it to be. And then once I have that, I'm going to cut a little notch down the center, and then from each corner, um, cut a little pennant shape. And I'm going to go ahead and do that on both sides. So now we have this perfect base for the little bow we created earlier. And again, I'm going to use my liquid adhesive and just smear that on the back. And then I can hold that in place on the base of this bow. And then that'll um, stay together perfectly. But for one last step, just to make sure the bow holds its shape when you add it onto a card and send it through the mail or anything like that, I'm going to take out my mini foam squares. And these are actually going to go in the spaces, um, in the loops of the bow. So I'm just taking each foam square and taking off the backing and sticking that into um, the insides of the bow. And I'm using my tweezers just to make it a little easier. And this will make sure that the bow keeps its form really nicely. So I'm just going to really quickly go through the same process with um, a skinnier washi tape. And you'll see how it ends up being a really cute little bow that's a bit smaller. But it's basically the same process. So I'll just speed through it and put on some music. And you can just watch it if you want to go through this process one more time. Okay, so now that that bow is finished, you can see a few of them all together here. Really, you can get so many different kinds of um, sizes and different patterns with this technique. You can just use whatever washi tapes you have. So here's a photo of some other ones that I made um, from my collection. And soon I'll have another video where I actually use one of these bows on a card. So stay tuned for that. On the screen here, you can subscribe so that you can get updates when I upload new videos. And I also have some past videos that you might be interested in watching here. And the first one actually shows a series of cards that I created using washi tape in case you're looking for more ideas to use up your stash. In addition, you can find me on Instagram and Pinterest at the usernames listed on the screen. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again soon.